Okay, so I was born in 1990, which in my opinion makes me the quintessential 90s kid. I had Beanie Babies and Nick at Night and played M.A.S.H. at sleepovers. I love Lisa Frank and Rambos and the list could go on. But today I wanted to share something that I did as a 90s kid that I thought was universal, but in talking to another friend that was also born in 1990, but didn't go to my grade school, I learned that it might not be. So this is How to Be a 90s Kid. When I was in elementary school, one of the most common types of pencil cases were these space maker cases. And in fact, I think this is the same space maker case I had in elementary school because apparently I don't throw away storage or art supplies, but it's in pretty good condition considering it's 20 plus years old. But with pencil cases that have this little thin rectangular inset, we would make glue bookmarks. Now I don't know where this came from. I just remember it as something that we all collectively started doing. So I pulled my Facebook friends because I'm still friends with a fair amount of people that I went to elementary school with. And there were people in my grade school and in surrounding areas of Virginia, and then also one from Long Island that remember doing this glue bookmark thing. But there isn't any consistency or idea of where we came up with this idea. And searching Google for the origin pretty much brings up the same thing, which is that there were regions of kids who were all doing it and remember it. And then there are other pockets of kids that are like, I don't remember this happening at all in my school. It's a mystery. But anyway, I thought it'd be fun to show you in case you have no idea what I'm talking about, or this is unlocking some like deep recessed childhood memory and now you can just revel in the nostalgia. Okay, let's do it. So you need a space maker pencil case or at least some kind of plastic thing with a little inset like this. Then you'll need some washable markers and some Elmer school glue or, you know, just like white glue. And from there, it's pretty simple. You just take your markers and you color on the inside of the case. And I would usually make a rainbow like this. Then you fill it with glue, but make sure not to go too crazy and overflow it. Plenty of overly enthusiastic kids made a huge mess this way. You can even start to see how the glue is picking up that marker already. Then we'd leave them in our desk over the weekend so it could dry when we wouldn't be using it. And when we came back on Monday, we'd be able to peel this congealed strip off and voila, bookmark. It was like magic to my eight-year-old brain that the glue would somehow suck up the color and make this really cool physical thing with such simple elements. Then again, I was convinced I had magic when I was like eight or nine and ran my hands over my comforter in the dark and there were these little sparks of light. A friend's mom informed me that it was probably static electricity and that my letter from Hogwarts was in fact not in the mail. Still a little bitter about it, but yeah, super simple blast from the past craft. So tell me what other parts of being a 90s kid would you want me to make a video about? I would love to make this into a series because apparently your 30s are all about childhood nostalgia. Plus remember to subscribe and turn on that notification bell if you actually wanna see my videos. And you can always follow me over on Instagram for all the rest of my creative content. And I'll see you guys later, bye. <laughs> that was a fail, what was that? Ah. <laughs>